please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for a moment of silence. Good morning, morning North. North. This is North Drive Never Live. I'm Madison. I'm Priscilla. Sorry, she's she's <laughs> a little quiet today. That's Olivia. She's not here today. Anyways, got a question today. Do you believe in paranormal? Yes, 100 percent I I alright, I should have a little story time actually. <laughs> so one one day, right? I was just like watching like a show, right? But it had like demons in it. So I got scared. Like, I got terrified. So I drew three crosses on my bed <laughs> that night. Because, like, literally. Like, like with a Sharpie and, like, your bedpost? You yes, like, my uh, bedpost. Like, literally one at the top, one at, in, at the side, and then one on the other side. Because I was so scared. I was not messing with it. <laughs> so what would you do if you did have, like, a ghost, like, a paranormal, whatever, in your house? I'd immediately bring an exorcist. Like, <laughs> burn sage around the house. And like get my mom. <laughs> mom, we're leaving. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. You wouldn't just like immediately move out of the house. You're just like, get the exorcist. Let's go. Because like at that point you're tainted. I'm sorry, like, you're tainted. Like that goes. Once it once it's in your house, it's in you. <laughs> That's such a guy crazy. But like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what about you? What about you? Uh, I do believe in paranormal. I don't mess with that. I don't like. It's it's probably there. I don't want to. I get scared. I don't. I love horror movies. I hate paranormal movies because I'm like, if it's real, what if it's like yeah. ready to grab you, like possess you? And if there was a ghost in my house, I'm gone. I'm not even getting the exorcist. I'm out of there. Skedaddle. <laughs> moving. Burn down the house. Gone. I'm too scared it's going to follow me to the next house. So I'm just like. It could be like paranormal activity where it's like, it's not the house, it's the person. Yeah, exactly. Anyways, here's some announcements. Herf Jones will be in the cafeteria on February 29th. You can purchase cap and gowns. And they will also be offering grad packs. The order form is on the Class of 2024 Bulletin Board and Google Classroom. Students who have accumulated more than 25 demerits are not able to attend senior activities or attend the prom. If you are a student who has more than 25 demerits and are looking to attend prom or any senior activities, you can qualify to get your demerits reduced by filling out an application. Please see Mrs. Parrish as soon as possible for more information and to apply today. The requirements to reduce your demerits are one hour of volunteer community service outside of the school day, completing a volunteer service log, and having all your service hours verified by an advisor or teacher, writing a minimum of 150 words essay on how your activities meet the T-Wolf behavioral expectations, submit your completed application and log to an administrator, and it may take up to five days to process. Demerits can be reduced by completing work with one of the North Service Clubs outside of school, creating your own project that promotes our T-Wolf behavioral expectations. This must be approved by the principal prior to completing the hours. Volunteering in the community, this must also be approved by the principal prior to completing the hours, and for having 45 consecutive days without a discipline referral. Again, if you are interested in applying to have your demerits reduced, see Mrs. Parrish this week to get started. Track and field team members, please remember to fill out all paperwork and be prepared to practice both inside and outside for the first week of practice. Read aloud for our Read Across America forms are out now. You can get your application in the library. You must be passing all classes and have no ISS or OSS. They're due on March 1st. Attention, any freshmen, sophomores, or juniors interested in a foreign exchange program in Germany, please see Frau Matheson in room 100B by the cafeteria as soon as possible to get an application. This student exchange program is called GAP, or German-American Partnership Program. Students from Germany will come live with you and your family for three weeks in late September of 2024, and even come to school with you during that time. In June 2025, you will travel to Germany and live with your German host family and attend your German partner's school for three weeks. You will also be sightseeing and experiencing German food, cultures, and festivals. Applications will be due in March, so please see Frau Matheson in 100B if you have any questions and to pick up an application. Mrs. Grenya is on the hunt for students that are interested in volunteering in the elementary school field days this year. Please check your email for Mr. Brenneman for the application. Please fill it out completely, have a teacher recommendation signature, and turn it into Ms. Grenya or the library by March 28th. That's all the announcements we have today. Have a great three-day weekend. Stay wild, my T-Wolves. Oh, <laughs> say it, say it, say it! And woo, howie! <laughs>